Hi, I'm Brian. I'm going to be giving you a quick introduction to the Net Backup API documentation and how you can make the most of it. So let's get started. As always, the Net Backup API documentation can be found on Sort. But starting with Net Backup 8.2, you can also find the documentation locally on your master server. Here's the URL you can use to access that. One of the biggest benefits of having the documentation local to your environment is that it allows us to enable the try it out functionality. With this feature, you can easily make API calls directly to your master server right from within the documentation itself. This is great for learning about the APIs and speeding up your development process. However, one important warning that goes along with this is that you are making real API calls to your master server. If you call a delete API with this tool, that item will be deleted. Because of this, you may want to consider only using this feature in your test and dev environments. Of course, all security and authorization checks are still in place, so there's no danger in having this functionality available, other than the risk of a careless operator. Let me show you how it works. All right, let's start by logging into the system. Under the authentication heading, you can see that there is a login endpoint. I'll click on that to expand it. At the top, we have a description of what this API endpoint does. You can see that it does not take any query parameters, but that there is a required request body. The example value shows us what the structure of this payload will need to look like. You can click on the schema link to see a description of each of the fields. And below that, we have a list of the possible response codes that can come back from this API, including example response bodies for each of them. Now to actually call the API, we want to find the try it out button on the right hand side. When I click on this, the example value will be replaced by an editable text field that allows us to put in our own credentials. I'm going to paste in the credentials for a user that I already created and then click on the execute button. Here we see the curl equivalent of this API call and the request URL that was used. The server response shows that we got a 201, which is success and it gives us the response body along with the response headers. Now the thing that we get back from this API is a JSON web token or JWT. And this is what we'll use to authenticate ourselves for any subsequent API calls that we make. So I'm gonna copy the contents of this token value, not including the quotes. And then we'll scroll back up to the top of the page where we find this authorize button. Click on that and we get a dialog that allows us to paste in that token value. When I hit authorize, what it's gonna do is it's gonna save that token for me so that the next API call that I make, that token will automatically be included. I'm gonna click close. And now let's say that I wanted to see a list of my backup images. To do that, I'm gonna switch over to the catalog API set. And here we have the get catalog images endpoint. Again, I'll click on that to expand it. In this one, we again see the description text and we also have a list of query parameters this time, including some filtering and pagination items. When we click on try it out, you see that we get editable fields for each of these. So again, we can specify our own values if we want to. I'm gonna leave them as a default for now and just click on execute to call this. Again, we get the curl equivalent and you might notice that this time it's quite a bit longer. And that's because you can see the authorization header has been added with the contents of that token that we had saved. In the server response, we see we got a 200, which is a success. And we also see the details for the backup image that is on the system. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of how to make the most of the Net Backup API documentation. Be sure to check out the API Getting Started Guide on Sort for more detailed information. Thanks for watching everyone.